हेलो एंड वेलकम टू माय नॉलेज वर्ल्ड यू आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल द पुष्कर विकी इन टूडेज वीडियो आई विल टॉक अबाउट इंडिया क्राइजेनिक जर्नी फ्रॉम स्ट्रगल टू ग्लोरी एवरी रॉकेट दैट कैरीज अ सैटेलाइट इन टू स्पेस टेल्स अ स्टोरी ऑफ साइंस स्ट्रगल एंड सक्सेस बट इंडिया जर्नी टू मास्टर द क्राइजेनिक इंजिन an engine powered by the coldest of fuels is one of the most inspiring chapters in our space history in this video we will uncover how india built its cryogenic engine against all odds the role of visionary scientist nambi narayanan and how this breakthrough transformed india's space ambitions forever let's start with the basics a cryogenic engine is a rocket engine that uses super cooled liquid gases as a fuel and oxidizer The word cryo comes from cryo meaning cooled and genic meaning produced by. In these engines, liquid hydrogen acts as a fuel and liquid oxygen serves as the oxidizer, both stored at extremely low temperatures. Liquid hydrogen at minus 253 degrees Celsius, liquid oxygen at minus 183 degrees Celsius. When these two come together and ignite, the reaction produces a massive thrust. enough to lift heavy satellites into space here's how it works fuel and oxidizer liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen are stored in insulated tanks they are pumped into the combustion chamber by powerful turbo pumps inside the chamber the mixture ignites producing super hot gases These gases expand and shoot out of the nozzle generating enormous thrust to lift the rocket. The precision needed is incredible. The temperatures, pressure and timing must all be perfectly balanced. One tiny error can destroy the entire stage. So, what makes cryogenic engines so special? Compared to solid or liquid fuel engines, cryogenic engines provide higher efficiency that means more thrust per kilogram of fuel can lift heavier payloads into higher orbits like the geosynchronized transfer orbit gto burn cleaner producing only water vapor as exhaust that's why all major space powers the us russia france japan and china developed cryogenic technology decades ago but there's a twist in indian story in the 1980s india's isro was already launching satellites using solid and liquid engines but to reach higher orbits we needed cryogenic engines in 1991 india signed a deal with the soviet union to obtain cryogenic engine technology but after the soviet breakup in 1991 the us objected citing the missile technology control regime mtcr The US pressurized Russia to cancel the transfer claiming India could use it for missiles. Overnight India was cut off. No other country was ready to help us. India had only two choices: give up the dream or build our own cryogenic engine from scratch. At the center of this mission was a brilliant ISRO scientist, Nambi Narayanan. He had earlier worked on the Vikas engine, a liquid fuel engine used in PSLV and GSLV rockets. Nambi Narayanan and his team started developing India's own cryogenic engine but in 1994 a false espionage case was filed against him accusing him of leaking secrets he was arrested humiliated and suspended from ISRO the project was delayed by years later the charges were proven false and he was fully acquitted still his vision and early groundwork laid the foundation for what india achieved years later his story reminds us science advances not just with technology but with courage despite setbacks isro scientists persisted they began designing and testing cryogenic engines liquids propulsion systems center in kerala and mahendragiri test facility in tamil nadu Finally on April 18, 2010, the GSLV D3 carrying India's first indigenously built cryogenic stage was launched, but it failed. ISRO didn't stop there. After continuous trials and improvements on 5th January 2014, the GSLV D5 launched successfully using India's own CE 7.5 cryogenic engine. 
it was a historic moment india had joined the elite club of nations mastering this complex technology with the cryogenic engine mastered india can now launch heavier satellites from its own soil saving millions of dollars in foreign launch costs it powered missions like gslv mark 2 and mark 3 chandrayaan 2 and 3 gsat series satellites and india's upcoming human space mission gaganyaan it also boosted india's reputation as a reliable cost low cost space power from being denied technology to developing its itself india proved that determination can turn rejection into innovation the cryogenic engine is more than just a machine it's a symbol of india's scientific spirit it shows the world that when a nation believes in its people even the coldest challenges can fuel the hottest fires of progress from the dreams of nambi narayanan to the triumphs of isro this is india's cryogenic story a journey from denial to determination and finally to glory india's cryogenic journey teaches us a timeless lesson obstacles are not roadblocks they are opportunities to rise higher when the world closed its doors indian scientists built their own path and showed the world the true power of determination and self belief this is not just the story of isro this is the story of india as a whole that turns struggles into strength and dreams into reality if you found india's cryogenic journey inspiring please do like share and subscribe and tell us in the comments which indian space mission inspires you the most thank you for watching my video dhanyawad